Hi, I'm Meteors from Team Cloud9, and this is my law class basic guide to Rek'Sai. I think Rek'Sai is pretty broken right now. She's banned in probably 70% of games, and every time I've got her, she just feels infinitely stronger than every other jungler, so I think she's by far the best jungler right now. For Rek'Sai on the blue side, you want to start top side, just so your bottom lane can do the double golem, so you don't get behind in lane. After Gromp, you want to go to blue buff, and then Wolves. After Wolves, you want to recall, and buy your Chilling Smite and a few health potions, and then go towards red buff. A lot of times I like doing red without smiting, just so you can save your Chilling Smite for a gank. With Rek'Sai, if you can come up behind someone, and Chilling Smite knock them up, it'll almost always be a kill, and Definitely always going to be a flash. So her level 3 ganks are extremely strong. And you should look to capitalize on that. If you don't see any ganks though, you can continue farming. Just doing race and double golems. First, Rek'Sai on the purple side, it's pretty much the same thing. Except you start at double golems. And you go to red to race. And then from there, you recall to get your chilling smite. And come down. Around bottom side, you can look for a gank if you see one. If not, you can continue farming, doing blue, wolves, and then grom. For runes on Rek'Sai, I take attack damage, reds, and quins, because she has really good AD scaling, armor yellows, and then a mix of CDR and MR blues, just to help her use her abilities more. For Masteries on Rek'Sai, I run 21-9-0, which is pretty standard for most offensive junglers. It's to just optimize your damage in clearing and killing players. I take Blade Weaving and Spell Weaving just because she uses a lot of spells and basic attacks with her Q, and she has insane damage. For Abilities on Rek'Sai, take Q at level 1. And max it first, take W at level 2, E at level 3, and then you want to max E second, followed by W third. For Rek'Sai's item build, you always want to get Chilling Smite early, because she doesn't really need help sustaining or clearing, due to her passive and insane damage on her Q. So, you can get Chilling Smite, which makes her ganks really good. You can generally smite him and catch up to him. And then for items, you want to build... The Warrior upgrade for your Chilling Smite, followed by Boots, and then Trinity Force is pretty good in solo queue, followed by just defensive items like Randuin's, Banshee's, Spirit of Visage, Locket, stuff like that. To gank his Rek'Sai, what you want to do is come up behind them and use your E to get next to them, and then you want to knock them up with your W. To do that, you either just get really close to them, and if you right-click, you'll just pop up automatically. But what I like doing is just manually pressing the W because it has a little bit extra range on it to knock them up. And then when they're knocked up, you basically just go to town on them, auto-attacking with your Q. And you want to E as late as possible so you have enough chance to stack up your rage bar thing because it makes it do more damage. And smite at any point during that to slow them down. When you're level 6 on Rek'Sai, you can teleport around the map, so what you want to do is keep tunnels near the lanes, but far enough back that the laners aren't just going to see it and kill it. So I generally do it like near, behind just the first tier turret. That way, if your laner starts getting ganked, you can portal in and help them out. Or if you see the other laners overextending, you can alt in and go for them. Just the one thing to keep in mind is the other team gets a... like sound notification whenever you use your alt so they'll be able to time your alt and generally have an idea of when you're teleporting around the map for team planning is Rek'Sai she can pretty much do whatever she wants because she's a tank who does a lot of damage but generally you want to just sit underground throwing cues to poke them down a little bit and then when the fight starts you can initiate by just Eating towards them, and then I like flashing and using my W knockup on their carries, which can really like start a fight favorably for you by knocking up their team and letting your team follow up. 
And then from there, you basically just chase people down using your Q and Eing them whenever you can. Thanks for watching this Rexlight guide. You can check out my other videos at lowclass.com and tweet your questions to me at MediusLOL.